Hi everyone. Hi. Like she said, my name is Julia Cotts and I'm going to share with you all my passion for being a witness for life. I attended Christian Liberty Academy for 14 years and graduated last year. During all my years of high school, I volunteered in the Live for Life group at CLA. When we first started growing, going to these um, Live for Life events, I had no idea what to expect. I was so nervous. I didn't know what to say to these girls. I didn't know what was going to happen at these events. I was seeing girls my own age walk into these clinics, scared, alone. It was truly heartbreaking. They were walking in there with heavy hearts and saddened eyes. After the first time that I went to a pro-life event, I knew that this was something that I needed to do and I needed to be involved in and make a difference. I knew that I couldn't just stand by and say, yes, this is wrong, but I'm not going to do anything about it. So many people that I would talk to about the issue would say, I completely agree, it's wrong, but won't do anything about it. So I knew that I had to make a change and do something to be involved. I knew that it was my job as a young person to be there for my peers. I knew that it was my job to support them, to pray for them, and to be there for them in a time of need, even though I didn't know them personally. One of the best moments I have had witnessing for life was about a year ago. I was talking to a fellow witness when a young woman started frantically running across the street, crying, very upset. She came over to us and started frantically telling us that her boyfriend and the father of her child had been trying to force her into an abortion. We talked with her about this, consoled her, calmed her down, and talked to her about her options. She was ecstatic to hear that she could be a mother and that she could do it on her own and she could be an awesome mother. She then told us that she was deciding to keep her baby and to raise her baby on her own. I've never felt such pure joy to be able to talk with this woman and to be able to see the excitement in her eyes when she talked about being a mother. Through my journey of, of being in the pro-life ministry, I have learned so much about caring for these girls and women. I have had times where I have been moved to tears out of happiness one minute and moved to tears out of sadness the next minute. Going through this pro-life journey, I would have never expected how much it does tug at your heart being a witness for life. In a matter of minutes, I've seen one girl walk out with pure happiness because she's decided to keep her baby, and the next minute see another girl hunched over with sadness in her eyes because she's gotten an abortion. Though at times it can be discouraging when you see girl after girl coming out after getting an abortion, I always know that at least these girls know that someone was there for them. Someone was there to pray for them, to think about them, to be there for them no matter what decision that they made. The workers inside of these abortion clinics do not care about them or their baby. This is why it is important for women going, through the, going into the abortion clinics to see us out there praying and talking to them. It's important for them to know that we care for them and we're there to love them and not judge them in any way. Being a part of pro-life movement has completely changed my life. I feel as though I see how fragile life is and the value of life. Fighting for the unborn is so important to me. I hope and pray that girls going into the clinic see that we are there to love and support them. It is so important to know that we are standing up for what we believe in and not just saying it's what we believe. It's important to know that we are looking out for our fellow peers and wanting the best for them. I encourage all of you, including all of the young people, to get involved in pro-life work and see how much it puts value and purpose into your life. I hope that as I continue to be a part of this opportunity, I can watch it grow and see many more young people become witnesses for life as well. I'm now going to read a quote from Archbishop Charles Chaput. Nothing we do to defend the human person, no matter how small, is ever unfruitful or forgotten. Our actions touch others' lives and move others' hearts in ways that we can never fully understand in this world. Don't ever underestimate the beauty and power of the witness in you, that you give in your pro-life work. Thank you. Yay.